We're going selfie mode on today's update from Grand Park. Day three here in Westfield, full pads for the Indianapolis Colts. The first time they've done those here in the 2018 training camp. And it was kind of odd that the day they start to wear full pads was probably the most banged up we've seen the offensive line, definitely here in 2018. Only eight healthy offensive linemen during team drills. It seemed like Quentin Nelson, Braden Smith, the two draft picks, they were in there. First unit, second unit, didn't even matter. Uh, they weren't really turning around and getting subbed out many times. Of course, it was our first look at Nelson in full pads and very impressive, as you would expect. Uh, in one-on-one -on -one drills, just seemed like it was a brick wall. Nothing got by him in those drills, no matter who was rushing against him. I tried to keep an eye on him all practice. I could maybe count one or two times that he was truly, truly beaten on a play. I think Danico Autry got him one time, maybe Grover Stewart, but outside of that, it was a very, very nice day in full pads for Quentin Nelson. Um, no Andrew Luck today. This was the day off for him throwing in team drills. He did some footwork stuff, did some running drill stuff, but no throwing for Andrew Luck on Saturday afternoon. That meant Jacoby Brissett, and I thought it was a nice day for Jacoby to kind of show off that big arm. I think we forget a little bit, especially after watching Luck and then Brissett, you see that arm from Jacoby Brissett. He stretched the field big time to Chester Rogers, probably a 50, 60 yard touchdown to a guy competing for that number two wideout spot. So Luck will get back to throwing tomorrow night in a full padded practice before the Colts take Monday off for the mandatory off day. And then lastly, caught up with the coordinators after practice on Saturday. Matt Eberflus, the defensive coordinator, asked him about kind of his balance of blitzing versus you know, just rushing four in terms of getting pressure on the quarterback. And he said in this scheme, they want to rush four, drop seven, and that's how they want to kind of play in pass coverage and how they want to get after the quarterback. So we'll see if the Colts can find those bodies up front to be able to do that. I'm Kevin Bowen, live from Grand Park. Stay tuned to 1070thefan.com for the latest here from Colts Training Camp.